I don't know. I don't know what to make of it. Regarding the late game, uh, Lakers Portland getting to see what they look like. Now, the Lakers with their new look team minus LeBron, um, not very impressive. Certainly not very impressive going up against Damian Lillard, who dropped 30 in the first half of their ass. Um, and then you have this Anthony Davis frustration that like boils up again. And then there's a story that Instagram. comes out by the morning about him deleting his Instagram. And I don't know. I don't know what to make of it. You know, my producer on my show today, he said, he was like, I would not be surprised. He's like, did you see the video? And I did see this. I think you probably saw it too. Remember when he didn't get up and celebrate whatever, but there was also that video of like LeBron, like putting his arm around him. Yeah, he's like, yeah, you know, yeah. I love you. You yeah. know, I love you and whatever. And I had not thought about this and I haven't heard people bring this up. My producer uh, was saying, I bet he heard they shopped him. And I well, was that, like, that, that's what now that, that would that, make sense. That's what that tweet said. Someone said, like, AD said, you know, they're trying to trade me. And that, and, but I, I listened to that a hundred times, and I can't, I couldn't hear anything but in there about. You AD think about the that. way this is all played out, not being into it with the rest of the guys, and happy about the LeBron thing. LeBron doing the, you know, I love you. You know, I love you. Then you get the whole like deleting of Instagram and being upset about the whole thing. Like something happened. And I, you know, he said the other night, he tried to make it go away. You know, my relationship with Braun and you guys were making a deal out of this. I was just mad because we were losing to the thunder and blah, blah, blah. And it's like, man, something is up. Something, something is up. And obviously he's very frustrated. Uh, They lose that game and something like that game. Like the that's one of their peers that's going to be fighting for these play in spots. Like they need to beat teams like the Blazers, and likewise, the Blazers need to be able to beat teams like them. And I think there was some sentiment that LeBron was going to play in these last two before the All Star break, and then he didn't play last night. And then there's this: it's his foot. And then the Lakers, I think, reported it as an ankle. But then there's other people reporting it's his foot. But then there's other people saying he's going to be a participant in All-Star Weekend and he'll be there at the All-Star Game. And it's like, what, what the hell is going on here? Like, what do you mean he's going to be in the All-Star Game? Like, he's not playing in these games against critical games that, like, his team needs to win if they're going to be able to have a shot at the play in? And, uh, like, how does he know his... It, I, I, I don't know. They want to... Like, over the weekend, it's like his foot is more serious then it was let on. There's people saying he's really playing through injury and his foot really hurts. Okay, cool. I accept it. And so then the next game he doesn't play. But then I hear like, yeah, he's going to, yeah, he's going to be at the All-Star game. It's like, how do you, how do you know his, his foot's going to be okay by Sunday? Like he's just going to play in the All-Star game. Why isn't he playing in these games? I'm just so confused about the whole damn thing. What do you make of it? They also play way too many three guard lineups. <laughs> you think? <laughs> yeah, they. I mean, that's just another thing I'm throwing out there too. There's a whole, a whole lot of issues for the Lakers. I mean, look, I, I think with LA, man, we can't judge what their upside is until LeBron James is back on the floor. That that goes without saying. Without LeBron James, one of the ten best players in basketball, it's hard to judge what the upside of the team is and what the what the actual relevancy is of the new additions that they made. But in some of these games, you can still look at Anthony Davis and say he's either loafing out there, moping, sad, or playing through some injury still that's limiting his play. He looks like he's not as quick, as fluid offensively. Defensively, he's not making that all-world impact that he did earlier in the year when he was playing like a top 10 guy. And that's the major source of concern that I have here. With Anthony Davis, what level is he actually going to be playing at here? Because all year long, even going back to last season for that matter, Chris, Russell Westbrook deserved a heck of a lot of blame with the Lakers. But AD last year was not the same guy he was 
during their run to a championship. He's not the same guy this year. He continues to either get hurt or have to play through injury. And the men- menta- the mentality that he plays with as well, whether it's influenced by physical issues or what, it's just not at a level that the, the Lakers need to climb back into the play-in tournament, never mind the playoffs. They need AD I mean, to I don't be know, AD. Kev. Look at the guy's numbers. So it's just not indicated by his numbers. It's not like he's having some crap season. He's starting Chris, the All Star game. He was, and- yeah, I know. I yeah, because he was unbelievable earlier in the season, and then he he was really good I- even last week. But then he's <laughs> even he, last week. It, so I mean, we're just talking about last yeah, I know. night. Yeah, but like it goes week to week with AD. Like he's dominating last week, and then then this week he can't out hustle out play Eubanks. He mm-hmm. la- again, they're winning against the Warriors. He was only five for nineteen from the field. He it was a poor scoring performance for him. He's got completely punked by Giannis last Thursday, the night of the deadline. Completely punked by Giannis. Like he's just not playing at the level that he needs to. And I, I think you can, yeah, you can say he was dominant. You know, in December, he was dominant in November. That's why he's an All Star. Even in early February, he was dominant. But right now, he's not. He's I not mean, right hell, now. Kev, I don't know, man. He played 30 minutes last night. He had 19 points, 20 rebounds, and three blocks. Yeah, but he's still it's not playing fault? at the level. No, it's, I'm not saying it's his fault. The rest of those, those guys suck. Chris, I'm not. When did I say it's his fault? I'm saying that he's he needs to elevate his play. How about the other stretch? guy needs to play and not like uh, surround, make everything about the scoring record and then the all like it doesn't feel like the season is Chris, nearly as important both, as the both, other both, stuff. Both things can be true. You know, I'd be both, mad. Both things can be true. And he might have tried to trade his buddy. Chris, you know what I mean? Both things can be true. What? And why, why would they not try to trade Anthony Davis when he, when, when whatever issues he's having continue to plague him? And we don't even know if that's true. We have no idea if that's true. I've, I've personally heard no indication of that. I mean, I, why, I wouldn't trade him because he's averaging 26 and 12 on 56% from the field. I mean, I, he's played 43 games. Or whatever it is. I mean, I mean you can box low. score or watch if you want, but, but I mean the guy almost had 20 and 20 last night, Kevin. What are we talking about? He's the problem. I never said he's the problem. <laughs> like, you can you can continue to take my words out of context or you can reply to what I said. That is what you said. They need Anthony Davis to be better. Yeah. Then 20 and 20? Yeah, if LeBron yeah, if Le, yeah, like I said, you could box score watch or watch Eubanks completely punk him last night. Giannis punk him last week. I mean, I, I I don't look at the Lakers and them throwing this together and sit there and say Anthony Davis is my big problem. I mean, I'm not Anthony saying, Davis I'm is not, just, I'm not saying he's the big problem, Chris. I'm saying he's one of the problems. And without LeBron James out there, you expect more from him. One of the other issue I mentioned, the three guard lineups. You don't have enough size on defense, puts more responsibility on the Lakers, puts more responsibility on him as the five out there to have to get stops. He needs more help, too. Darvin Ham probably needs to play fewer of these three-guard lineups as well. There's a lot of issues for the Lakers right now. 